Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we will be discussing evaluating algebraic expressions. And on this case, um, we will be discussing about the substitution method. Okay, so evaluating algebraic expressions means you just simply need to solve for the value of that expression. But the thing about algebraic expressions is you will have variables. Meron tayong variables. For in the variables, don't have value yet until you assign a value to it. Again, the variables does not have value, meaning uh, unless you assign a value to it. And that's why it's called a variable. It's because the value varies. nag iba iba Okay? So in any case, the very first thing that you need to know when you're trying to evaluate algebraic expressions is you need to know the values of these variables. And these things are actually assigned. Okay? You don't need to think about them. You just simply know that these values say A is equals to 1, B is equals to negative 2, and C is equals to 3. Okay? Just simply know that these letters, variables, the va these are the values. 1, negative 2, and 3. Okay? So, for example, number 1. So, let's start immediately. Okay? Number 1. Say we have A plus B. Okay? And you are asked to evaluate this algebraic expression. Of course, um, if you don't know these values initially, okay, you will not be able to solve this one. But again, since you know that A is equals to 1 and B is equals to negative 2, you need to apply the substitution property. The substitution property goes like this. Whatever the, the value of A, which is of course 1, you will replace all the A's within our given here with the value of A, which is of course 1. So we have 1. Then again, um, do not change anything that is not under the substitution property or the substitution method. Since the plus will not have any corresponding value, the plus will retain. Next, we have B. We know that the B is negative 2, so therefore we'll replace it with negative 2. Then evaluating this expression, let's just put the equals here. 1 plus negative 2, the answer is just simply, wait, let me change the equals. Let me just move this thing to the side. This is equals to 1 plus negative 2. And 1 plus negative 2, the answer is just simply negative 1. Okay? And that's uh, the simple one. Okay? So, let's have another example. Say we have um, a squared plus 2a minus b plus 5c. Okay? So, again, when it comes to substitution, we need to substitute only the values for those corresponding letters. So if we have A here, we know that the A will change to 1. Therefore, the only thing that we need to replace is just simply the A. And everything will be retained. Okay? So in substitution, just to be safe, place a parenthesis if the number or letter is not alone. Since this, in this case, it's not alone, then therefore you will place a parenthesis. Then plus will not change. The 2, A will is beside 2. It's not alone. Then you put a parenthesis. Minus B. B is negative 2. It's alone. So we leave it as is. Plus 5. Parenthesis C. C is 3. And therefore, we just simply need to evaluate this one. Evaluating this one will give us 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus negative 2, the answer would be plus 2. Because in subtraction, you change the sign of the subtrahend. This is negative 2. It becomes positive. Then proceed to addition. Plus 5 times 3, the answer is 15. I'm just following class the order of operation. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 plus 15, the answer is 20. Okay? And that is how you evaluate algebraic expression given the values of the variables. Let's have another one. Say we have AC minus B. Our A is again 1 since it has something beside it. Therefore, you need to place a parenthesis for A. Next, C is just simply 3. And minus B. B is negative 2. So therefore, we have it's alone. So we leave it as is, negative 2. 
Then this one, sorry, sorry, let me just fix that. Okay, this one, numbers beside each other having no operation, okay, would fall under multiplication. And 1 times 3, the answer is 3, minus negative 2, that's plus 2. Again, double negative, or just simply the rule of subtraction. And 3 plus 2, the answer is simply 5. And let's have another five examples for our discussion. Let's say we have B plus C over A. Again, in substitution, you only change the letters or you only change the letters to its corresponding values and nothing more. Everything will retain the plus here and then the fraction bar will retain. B is negative 2 since nothing is beside it. It's negative 2 plus C is 3. And A is just simply 1. Evaluating this one, negative 2 plus 3, the answer is 1. Divided by 1, the answer is positive 1. And lastly, let's solve for the last one. Let's just solve it here on the side. We have number 5. Um, say we have BC over A plus C. Okay? We know that B is negative 2, but... It's beside something, which is C. Then, therefore, we place a parenthesis. And C is 3. And A is alone, so therefore, we leave it as is. And C is just simply 3, and it's alone, so we leave it as is. Next, we have negative 2 times 3. The answer is negative 6. And 1 plus 3, the answer is 4. Giving us the answer here, negative 6. Wait, let me undo that so I can move it here. Okay. Giving us negative 6 over 4, the answer is negative 3 halves. And this would be your final answer. Okay? And again, that is how you substitute, um, I, I mean, that's how you evaluate algebraic expressions knowing the values of the variable. Okay? So, let me just remind you again of one thing, and I always tell my students these things. Okay? Never remove anything. Unless it is subject to the substitution property. Okay? So again, never remove anything unless it is subject to the substitution property. And let me just give you an example for that. A is equals to 2. Okay? A is equals to 2. And we have our expression of um, 2a squared b. Minus 5C A minus 4A cube. Okay? You, all, you will only replace A and nothing more. So, meaning 2 will retain. The A is beside something. So, we put a parenthesis. The square will retain. The B will retain. Minus will retain. The 5 will retain. The C will retain. The A will change. Becomes 2. Minus the 4 will retain. The A will change, but the cube will retain. Okay? You will notice here that the only thing that needs to be changed is the one subject to the substitution property. And this would be the value of A. Everything else will stay the same. And that is very important when it comes to substitution. Do not remove anything unnecessary. Um, do not remove anything that is not subject to the substitution property. And especially the operation. The minuses, the plus, and etc. Okay? So, I do hope that you got our lesson for today. Um, if you have any other questions, you can go back to the video. Or, of course, you can ask me in our class. Thank you for listening, everyone. And, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.